opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. BC5 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center and attacks the f2 pawn. C3 prepares the d4 pawn push and opens up the c2 square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a miss. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is good. This moves the knight to safety. It is good. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This protects the attacked knight. This threatens to capture a piece while defending against a new threat. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is excellent. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This overlooks an opportunity to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. This frees a pawn to adequately defend another piece. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered black in the middle game. 